What's going on, football fans? It's your NFL analyst here, getting you ready for our AFC Game of the Week here, previewing it on YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel, by the way, the NFL analyst, DB61. This is our AFC Game of the Week preview. The Denver Broncos, New England Patriots. You have Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. What more could you want? Let's start with the Denver Broncos. They haven't really lived up to the expectations that a lot of people gave them. All you heard about was the Denver Broncos in the offseason and entering training camp, Peyton Manning there, done with Tim Tebow. It's a new regime now in Denver, and they're a year in and year out division winner. I wasn't sold on them from the first place. I think they're a year in and year out division winner, but I, I don't think they're a Super Bowl contender or anything of that nature. I think there are four teams better than them. Houston, by far, who they lost to. Uh, the Steelers, even though they beat the Steelers, and the team they face on Sunday, New England and Baltimore. I take Baltimore over um, over the Denver Broncos right now. Maybe even San Diego, but they're a little shaky. They're a little up and down. So I don't know what to expect from the San, uh, from the Denver Broncos right now. Um, Peyton hasn't looked the same. He's getting used to a new system. He's played in the same system literally his entire career. So he's getting acclimated to some new things right now with the Denver Broncos, but defensively are where some issues arise. They can't get off the football field on third down, and that's when you really need to step it up and turn it on as a defense because you want to get off the field and you want to give your offense an opportunity to put six points on the scoreboard, or you can get those six points and they're not getting takeaways. That's one thing I've noticed, but Sunday they go across country. Again, hopefully they, they, they can look a little bit better. Uh, Peyton has had his fair share of struggles in in Foxborough, he's only beaten them three or four times, I believe, and twice in Foxborough. And he's thrown the most interceptions in his career against the New England Patriots. So how are they going to come out? The key to this game is running the ball, Will it, pounding Willis McGahee, going outside and attacking those Patriots second cornerbacks because those cornerbacks give up a lot of big plays down the field. Now let's talk about the Patriots. I can't tell you how impressed I was with the New England Patriots last week. Down 14 in Buffalo, divisional opponent, coming off two straight losses, close losses at that. And then they just, something went about this football team in the second half. They scored 45 unanswered. They had a lot of balance offensively with Stephen Ridley and Brandon Bolden, each getting over 100 yards, running running the ball. And then you had Gronkowski and Wes Welker. They each had 100 yards apiece receiving. So that that goes to show you the balance. And believe it or not, in the last three years, the Patriots – have led the league in rushing touchdowns. And you kind of find it funny because they're so used to running the football, to passing the football, excuse me, because they're a pass-first team. There was a report that Aaron Hernandez was going to be in this get play in this game, but he's sitting out, and he'll probably come back next week for the New England Patriots. Overall, when I look at this matchup, I like New England to get the win. New England 35, Denver 24. Thank you for tuning in. See you Sunday.